Hi everyone, welcome to week 20 of Nutrition Bites. So today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for pita pizza. So we're going to talk about the ingredients, then we're talk going to talk about some reasons to add a variety of fruits and vegetables to your diet. We'll talk about a concept called Taste the Rainbow, and then I'll share some more colorful meal ideas and the weekly challenge. Okay, so this recipe is for pita pizza, which is one of my favorite uh, dinners to make during the week. Um, basically, you take a whole wheat pita, you take some pizza sauce, and then you just pile on whatever veggies sound good. This one I did with olives, mushrooms, spinach, broccoli, onions, artichoke hearts, and then I seasoned it with oregano and salt and pepper. And you can add nutritional yeast on top, so there's lots of different options but it's a really great way to get a variety of vegetables in one meal. <clears throat> okay, so I want to now talk about why it's important to add variety to your diet. I know that we can sometimes get stuck in a rut of eating the same few plant foods. Maybe you eat apples and bananas pretty frequently and lettuce and tomato, and, and that's kind of it. But there are tons of reasons why you should expand how many different plant foods you're eating in a week. So one of the reasons is that the more variety you eat, the higher intake of important nutrients like vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and phytochemicals you will have. Basically, each plant food has a different nutrient profile. And so if you're only eating three or four different types of vegetables and fruits, you're going to get a very select amount of nutrients. And so expanding to include different types are, is going to give you different minerals, different vitamins, different amino acids. Um, adding variety also allows you to have a variety of flavors and textures, so you're not just eating the same things over and over again. It helps to keep things interesting. Um, this is a newer area of research, but it's been shown that the more variety of plant foods you eat, this can lead to a greater diversity of good gut bacteria. So this is our gut microbiome. And if you're only eating a few plant foods, basically there's only going to be certain strains of bacteria that live in your gut. Well, the more variety of plant foods that the, you add, the more additional strains of other good gut bacteria you will add to your gut microbiome. And then just a lot of research studies in general have correlated a, you know, a variety of fruit and vegetable intake with lower risks of many chronic diseases. So the goal is to aim for 30 different plant foods per week. Now this may seem like a lot, but I want to just point out that if we go back to this recipe, this has, so grains, so Plant foods are grains, beans, nuts, seeds, legumes, fruits, vegetables. So it's not just fruit and vegetables, it's all of those categories. So in this recipe alone, we're getting a grain from the wheat, we're getting tomato sauce, olives, mushrooms, spinach, broccoli, onions, artichoke hearts. That is eight different plant foods right there in one meal. So do that a couple times during the week and you're gonna get your goal of 30 different plant foods per week very easily. Okay, so another reason, so more specifically, like I said before, when you eat a variety of plant foods, you're going to get a variety of nutrients. Different plant foods have different nutrients in them. And one of the things that is different among them is the phytochemicals. So these are components that are specific to plant foods that have um, really great properties about them. And a lot of times they're correlated with the color. So the, the phytochemical is actually related to the pigment of the food. And so we have foods that are red, yellow, orange, green, purple, blue, and brown and white. And each of these colors represents a different type of phytochemical. And they all have very unique um, properties when we ingest them. So just to give you a few ideas, red foods have been, so we're talking about plant foods here, Red foods have been shown to help fight cancer, reduce risk of diabetes and heart disease, and improve your skin quality. 
yellow and orange fruits. Those are really high in vitamin A. So that's going to promote eye health. That's going to help with the immune function and also help reduce the risk of heart disease. Green fruits and vegetables are going to help boost the immune system, help restore energy and vitality and more. Um, purple and blue fruits may help reduce the risk of cancer and heart disease, um, support brain health, and decrease inflammation. And then brown and white colored fruits and vegetables help protect protect against certain cancers and can help to keep our bones strong. So another great reason to add a variety of plant foods to your diet. This is just another graph um, showing the different phytochemicals that are in these fruits and vegetables. So as I was saying, these are the phytochemicals lycopene, quercetin, and anthocyanins that help make these red foods red. And then these are some sources. So we have different ones for orange and yellow, green, blue, purple, and white. And I will include a picture of this in the article version so that you can uh, see it a little bit better. Okay, I'm also going to link some recipes to some more colorful meal ideas. Again, just to help you increase your variety and try to get all the colors of the rainbow throughout your week. So I'll share a recipe for a smoothie bowl, um, a grilled veggie pesto pasta, and then a rainbow salad. All right, so for this week's challenge, I want you to aim to incorporate all five color categories of fruits and vegetables to your week. So remember that's red, orange and yellow, green, blue and purple, and then brown and white. So try to get all those colors in this week um, to increase your intake of a variety of plant foods. That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.